I think there is this Hollywood notion of art theft. One, we think that the thieves wear black turtlenecks, that they're these Pierce Brosnan, uh, Cary Grant-like figures, but really the run-of-the-mill criminals. They're aging drug dealers, they're out-of-work bank robbers, and they steal art because it's easy to do, and they steal art often because these paintings are so incredibly valuable. So I think what happened in the case of the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum is that the crooks stole that museum because it was an easy thing to do. They saw these high-value paintings, and then they landed it. They saw the newspaper headlines the next day and said, holy cow, probably didn't use that word. And then they couldn't really figure out how to monetize these works of art. Any art dealer would know these paintings the moment that they came in through the door. These paintings are on dorm rooms all around the country, too well known to sell on the open market. These paintings most likely moved through a network. The FBI said that they saw these paintings being offered up for sale. What I think is also equally plausible is that someone entirely innocent, uh, a, a good person sort of saw maybe these paintings uh, from a friend of a cousin or heard a little rumor about them. And that little tidbit, that little tidbit could be the final puzzle piece here. And that's why the FBI uh, is making this uh, promise, making this news today. And kudos to them. I mean, this is 20 years later that they continue to work this very cold case. And kudos to the museum themselves for offering this huge reward.